Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to Cynix TV. I'm Sim Fatal alongside Next, and today we're gonna be showing you guys five cool ways to hack your life with rubber bands. Yeah, so let's get started with that now. Chill, boy. So for this first hack, guys, all you need is a rubber band. And say you're in class, right, because I know this happens to me all the time, and you have your pencil and you're writing, and you don't have any race, or you notice that you don't have one. So you, so say you're writing in your class, right? I, I just wrote sin, just like that. And I need to erase the S. So I'm like, oh man, I don't have a, I don't have an eraser. So all you do is just take your rubber band, you wrap it around your finger, not too tight, but enough so that you can grip it. And uh, and then you can use that as an eraser. So I'll erase this S right here, just like that. It's pretty neat. It's cool, just in case you don't have a eraser. So there you go, and then you can just continue writing again, just like that. So it's cool, guys. It's a cool little hack that you can do with the rubber band. For this next hack, guys, all you need all you need is a book. And say you're reading, right? And you're in class and you're reading, and you get tired of reading because you're done with the chapter. So. This is a cool little hack that you could do with rubber bands as well. So say you want to keep your spot here as a bookmark, then all you need to do is just take your rubber band and you just want to put it on the corner, just like this here, and wrap it all the way around so that it grabs the page that you're at and just close your book. So next time you guys are looking for the page, you don't have to look anymore because your rubber band is your little bookmark as your key point to that's where you left off. You know what I'm saying? So it's really cool hack to do if in case you don't have a bookmark, you could just use your rubber band and rubber bands are everywhere at home, in your class, at the office, at your job, anywhere. So it's really cool to do on your spare time if you're reading to, to leave your little bookmark. Now this hack everybody should know because it's a classic and it's for those of you that love cooking and love chopping up your vegetables or fruits or whatever it is that you want to cut up on the cutting board. Now if you're, when you're cutting guys, you might stumble upon this issue is that the is that the cutting board moves as you're trying to cut and that is because a lot of cutting boards don't come with any grips on the bottom therefore they're gonna slide on the counter and it could be dangerous you could cut yourself because you kind of rest your hands on it and it might, you might slide at the worst moment and cut yourself you don't want to do that so the best thing for this is you put your very own grips on them and with the help of some rubber bands you can do that so I'm gonna wrap a wide rubber band on top over this cutting board like this one right there and then one on the bottom you can also do it on the sides whatever is more comfortable for you whichever won't get in the way so as you can see I just wrapped two rubber bands around the cutting board and now it doesn't slide off at all so now I can just take my fruit and begin cutting without a care in the world because I know that my cutting board will stay put awesome hack pranksters so as we've been showing you throughout this video, rubber bands come in handy in so many ways. And this next one is a really cool one because let's say that you bought yourself a pair of shoes or you have shoes and the shoelaces ripped off, they're gone, you don't have them no more, or you just don't like the color, well you can use some rubber bands as shoelaces. And what I like about this hack is that the rubber bands are stretchy, so you, don't, you only have to tie the rubber bands around the shoes once. After that, it stretches so it opens up like this. I'm gonna show you how you do that. Take your rubber band and cut it like this. So now you're able to insert it through the holes on the shoes. So I put the rubber bands through the holes on there and now I'm gonna join them together by just tying them. And I'm gonna make a little knot so that way they will stay in place. And the tightness is up to your liking, like that. So once it looks like this, you're just gonna cut off the ends just to make it look cooler. So that way you don't have excess rubber bands sticking out, just like that. And you do the same for every hole if you desire to, or you can skip one hole and go on to the next one. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks once you've added multiple rubber bands on your shoes. This is the final product right here. As you can see, the rubber bands blend in with my shoes. Well, they're brown, so I chose a brown color for this demonstration. But you can, if you can find other colorful rubber bands, you use those for your shoes. So as you can see, guys, they open up, they stretch. 
and you don't ever have to tie this ever again. This hack is best for running shoes because you wanna you want them to stay tight on your feet when you're running. You don't want them loose at all. All right, guys. So for my last hack on this video, all you need is two forks like I have here and a rubber band. Now to hack this. You're gonna make tongs out of these forks. To hack it, all you do is just put your forks side by side like this, and you wanna put your rubber band on the neck of the fork about right there. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. Just in, So, just in case you need a, some tongs because you're grilling or something, and you need to maybe flip a patty, then this is, this is gonna come in handy for you. All you do is just push them down towards the neck, and then you got yourself some cool little tongs homemade little tongs that you can use to flip patties. If you don't have tongs, just to have them, you know what I mean? So it's a really cool hack. And to use this, all you do is just squeeze the ends of the fork right here. You just squeeze that and it opens your tongs. You can just grab uh, anything with these, just like that. So say this was a burger patty and I wanted to flip it. I just grab it with my tongs, flip that sucker, and it's ready to go. So it's a really cool hack to do, guys. And I'm sure you guys will be will have fun with this.